Cheers! We have just finished the filming of the FAF Boot Camp online course. I'm Sarah. <laughs> and I'm Liz. <laughs> and we are actually doing happy hour because this is a celebration. It's been a long week. And we are going to just take some time, like we did when we filmed the Husqvarna Viking Boot Camp, we, and we just asked each other questions. We did get so a little giggly because, you, you get know. get to know us. And uh, so we will put the links to the other interview that we did. <laughs> that was funny. It was, it got, it was good. It was, it was good. good. We had fun. Uh, so we just kind of came up with some random questions, some sewing related, some not. And um, so what is, why did we do this? Uh, the FAF Boot Camp online course. Because we did the Viking Boot Camp <laughs> online course. No, we did it because we have machines in the FAF and the Viking line that are Wi-Fi enabled. And we're the first brands to really be very Wi-Fi enabled. Yes. And with that came a big learning curve. And so we were trying to teach consumers all the stuff that they had that they didn't really realize they had. Exactly. So um, our first boot camp class actually became our second highest enrolled course, and it's not even a year old. It's, it's We did it the last week of November. Yes, when it when actually it launched. launched yeah. And so with that, we knew the need for right. learning more about these machines. Now, if you are watching this video and curious about what a boot camp is, we will put uh, descriptions below. Uh, you can watch a handful of videos for free and see if this course is right for you. And we don't just do Wi-Fi enabled. I mean, a lot of it, it's all focused around the Wi-Fi enabled portion of it, but there's also other stuff that gets deeper into functions of the machine we, that you may not use. Yeah, we created our own stitches using the Stitch Creator, but we really broke down the whole MySoNet yes. ecosystem. Yes. So if you do have a FOF or looking to buy a FOF with these features, this is definitely a course that will help you. We've noticed, okay, so we are both store owners. Um, I have Heirloom Creations in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And I have Sew A Lot and we're in Ohio and Kentucky. And you've been a dealer for Ever. Um, we've been a FOF dealer <laughs> since 1984. And I think we just celebrated 33 years in business. My husband and I have been Our, in the... Ours is 40 this year. Oh, congratulations. Next, in like two weeks, 40, 40, 40th year. anniversary of So A Lot. Yes, that's <laughs> awesome. And we've seen a lot change over the years. Yes. And so with my husband and I run the business here. And um, I do the online courses and the education. But I do have to say that in our classes, when we get everybody together and teach them how to use their new machines, there's not a way to teach them everything that we no, just there's did. there's a lot. There's a lot more. And even though we might tell you what it's about, right. you have to kind of go back and rewatch it. Right. You need to learn that information when you're ready to kind of take it in. I right. mean, some people, you, you hear it once and then you got to hear it again and then you're like, oh, I think I should use that now. And yeah. then it makes sense. It yeah. kind of clicks a button on that part of it. So yeah, that's why we did it. Good. And we've been in the industry since we were children. So my, we'll my mom started it. So yeah. I started our store. So my sister and I have been doing it. I was four. You were four. I started working at a sewing machine store in California when I was 15. And then right, we're not doing any more math. Because, no. oh, it, is, like I said, it's going to get interesting. This is what we do. This is, this is what we do is sewing machines. Yes, it's good. All right. So, like I said, we just made some random questions. We just put them in here. And they're not all sewing related. They are not. So They're in, more of to get to know us. And see that we do have a lot of fun. Uh, we are thankful for the sewing world to yes. have brought us together yes. over the last couple of years. Yeah. And I know my mom thinks we're sewing sisters. So this is my sew sister, Liz. <laughs> and we <laughs> and have was, fun together. We do. Yeah. And when we get both of our heads put together, we can come up with some pretty cool, cool stuff, creative ideas. Yeah. So that's our goal is to share those things with us, with you, and you can use your machine more. All right, uh, first one. Best quilt show everybody should make at least one trip to see. I am biased. Go for it. I think you have to go to Paducah. Because you're in Kentucky. I'm the, well, and I'm the vendor. I'm the Viking and the FOF vendor for Paducah. But Paducah, I go work at other dealer shows. So I don't just do my area. I work, go help with other dealers in their shows. But Paducah, Paducah, the last I checked, Paducah was the second largest quilt show behind Houston. 
And the difference between, because I've been to Houston too, but the difference between Houston and Paducah is Paducah is out in the middle of nowhere. There's like the airport is like this big. Right. So <laughs> when you go to Paducah, you're going for a quilt show. And everybody that's in that town is there for the quilt show. So there's like this big camaraderie. Like they're like, it's not like, you know, people are there for a sporting event that might be going on in, you know, Houston as well. They're there for the quilt show. And there's like a marching band and there's quilts hanging up and down the street. And it's really like cool. I was noticing your newscasters are all yeah. quilt. Like they know their terminology. Yeah. They know how to. It's so much fun. It looked like it. Yeah. Now I would probably say, and, and because I remember the first time I went to Houston, mm -hmm. the Houston International Quilt Show should be also on your list because the first time I remember going is I remember looking down the aisles of this ginormous convention center that they have it at, and I couldn't see the end right. of the aisle. It's it's huge. And then there were 24 aisles when I was there. Yeah. And when you can't, I mean, you had to plan the bathroom runs. Like, okay, oh, usually I, I was working the show. Oh. So it was like, okay, I'm going to need to go to the bathroom. I need, I think, and I need to look, leave now. Yeah. So I could walk all the way to the end. Now, it was nice at that convention. <laughs> now, I feel bad for the guys, but they turned most Men's of the men. bathrooms they into the, women's they, and women's. They do that at most of the conventions. Oh, do they? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I, yeah, yeah, that's, that's like, not just a Houston thing. Like, yeah. They do that in Paducah. They had a big show. They used to have a big show in Cincinnati. The first year, they did not switch the men's restrooms over, and it was a We all used them anyway. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> then they switched those. Yeah, right. no, that's a thing. It's always funny. So the guys are always like, okay, the bathroom in this building is that way. <laughs> The like last they, time they knew each other. The they last knew. time we were at a show, we went to walk to check the classroom, and one of my coworkers was like, "I need to go to the bathroom." So we stopped this one bathroom. Well, then the next day we went to go check the classroom, and I was like, "We'll just stop at that one bathroom." They changed it to a women's. Oh, <laughs> so then he had to find an. So yeah. then he had to find another bathroom. <laughs> that is a thing. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All yeah. right. Oh, you get to my turn. Okay. What's next? Where do you eat? What do you eat for breakfast? Oh. <laughs> I eat everything for breakfast. It's my favorite meal. It I would, is your favorite meal. I would live on breakfast. We have gone out for breakfast every morning. I would go for breakfast way more than I will ever go for dinner. You bet. Well, <laughs> and it, I've noticed that, yeah, you could probably live on a breakfast all day long if you had to. And in retail, which we have done a lot, is some days that's the, the one you get. Mm -hmm. um, lately, and my husband and I have just been doing this together, is we just we have eggs and we have av avocados. And eggs is it. what I usually eat, but <laughs> but when we get to go out, when we get to go out. You can order everything, and I tr they get so mad at me because we <laughs> go out and there's a they pick on me because I like should we get a pancake for the table? I don't want to eat a whole pancake, but I want a little bit of a pancake. So they give you three pancakes. For well, <laughs> the, like sometimes, though, remember one time we went to breakfast and somebody was like, well, pancakes come with my meal. I'll get the pancakes. Well, we were talking about the pancakes and the waitress heard us talking about the pancake and she brought me that free pancake, that specialty in Detroit. <gasps> right. And she brought me that free. She was like, you can't leave here without trying this pancake. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so if you want to get Liz on a good side. Pancakes. A little extra pancake yep. on that. All right. Um, what is the weirdest item you have ever sewn? Oh, I don't know what's yours. My weirdest item was. Um, well, actually, I just I did have those a couple of rando ones. Boat but, cover. Oh yeah. no, no, I have a better one. I did just do a video on a boat cover mm -hmm. that we kind of made so the water doesn't run in. Um, but I am remembering something. So a friend of mine had a little boy and he was ready to transition from uh, diapers into pull-ups. Mm -hmm. But he was so skinny <laughs> that the smallest pull-up wouldn't work. Well, you'd pull it up and <laughs> whoosh. Well, he was just a skinny little guy. And so what I did was I had her bring over her box of pull-ups mm -hmm. and we, um, we, <laughs> we measured him. He was such a good sport at, you know, I don't know, two-ish. And we, we really, we took in um, and a side seams and I stitched on both sides of those pull-ups on, it was like a box of 24. So I ran it through you the machine and I sold all the, the disposable. Well, yeah, you just, I mean, it was just like chain piecing, but it was just really weird to see it chain so piece So then did she have to come back? No. He grew? One box. No, he only needed a, one box of pull-ups oh, and got it figured good. out. Good, yeah. good, good, good. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. <laughs> I've sewn, it always seems like I can't pinpoint 
but it always seems like it's weird, heavy stuff. Like somebody brings mm -hmm. me some weird, heavy stuff. And, and you like, say yes to and it. And I go, yeah, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like having the, but it's always weird, heavy stuff. Like just something heady. Like, yeah. So weirdest place you've put a oh. sewing machine to sew something heavy. Is I, I hemmed curtains while they were attached to the wall. That makes so much more sense. I just pulled the table over. Right? Or were pulled you on the, the floor? No, I pulled it. There was a table close to it, and I pulled the table over and uh, hemmed them up where I wanted them to be, and then pulled it up to the table and ran them through the machine. There you go. Dropped them back down onto them. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. Good. Be prepared if anybody knows you so either to say no or, <laughs> or figure out some weird way to do it. Or Steve's new one. He, he says, thank you. But no. Not but. No, no, no. Oh, just thank and you. No. And no. <laughs> Make sure it's not a but, because buts mean you can get work the, your way back yeah, in. Yeah, no. <laughs> Um, sunny, sunny, funny sewing words that get confusing. Oh, yeah. So we're going to put these up on the screen for you. But this one's always funny in the class. Based and Batiste. Yes. So they are spelled the same. I, no. Well, are ish? Close. Well, maybe. Okay, maybe. So <laughs> basting or Batiste. But Batiste, Batiste is, is the fabric. fabric. You know, I get Batiste and Batiques. They oh. get Batiste and Batiques mixed up. Is that a southern accent thing? I don't know. No, they just get them confused. Like they oh, don't, they call they, them the wrong thing. Right, things. right. They come yes. in and they'll ask for Batiste. And I'm like, oh, we don't have that. And then they'll be like, well, yeah, you do. They're right here. And I'm like, those are Batiques. Oh, they're Batiste. calling. Them yeah, they're calling the wrong, wrong names. Good. The other one tool is. Tool versus tool. Tool and tool. So, tool, tool like the like, sheer netting. Yes. And then I need a tool. Like a like screwdriver. A hammer. <laughs> and pen and a pen. You say pen. 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 And a pen. 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 No, you can't. Like, no, pen. say it the way you say it. I need a pen. 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 I don't know. Pen. I need a pen. Well, when we worked, when I worked at Oklahoma Embroidery, living in Oklahoma, we learned that they would say, "Pen, I need pen. a pen. pen." And so we, I was thinking that they wanted like a straight pen, and so I'd write and get straight pens, and, pen. and they're like, "No, I need a, a pen. pen. I need a pen. I need a pen. A pen." <laughs> and I'm like, "This is a pen. That was <laughs> pen. Wrong pen. 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 And pen. Pen." Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, those are, Ten. but these are things in our world yes. of sewing. Are you an early bird or early a bird. night owl? Early bird, early bird, early bird. You do like to film in the morning, not at night. I like to come to Sarah and Steve's house because they go to bed early and I don't feel <laughs> obligated to stay up. <laughs> we do. And, um, and right now okay we're in the it. summertime, so it's almost summer solstice. And it's crazy light here all the time. This is South Dakota. Can you imagine living in, like, Canada? No. Or where our machines are no. engineered in Sweden? No. Oh, those are fun. That's fun. No. Yeah, who needs sleep when the sun is out? Well, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm not so much an early bird or a night owl. Yep. I'm a sun person. Yes, so I am too. So if the sun is up, I'm good to go. I'm fine. But as soon as it gets dark, <laughs> I'm like in the winter. I'm a bear. Mm. I like to hibernate. We do. So I don't we like good. to wake up. I no. go to bed early. Yeah, we do too. Oh, yeah. There you go. I might be a bear. <laughs> If you could donate a million dollars to any charity, what cause would you choose? Oh, there's What's, so many. There's so many good ones. Just what do you do personally? Um, I have a cousin who has muscular dystrophy, mm -hmm. and it, we I tend to donate to them a lot. That's good. Yeah. yeah. We do uh, Feeding South Dakota oh, or yeah. Feeding America. Yeah. Um, back when I was young, that was something that we needed to do, and the food bank was always there if we needed it. And we never went hungry. Because yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Um, we are, what's your favorite tradition or holiday? <sighs> My favorite holiday is Thanksgiving. Ooh, why? Because <laughs> I like all the food. No. You, no. I like, no. Because you can I eat like, it for breakfast well, the next day. <laughs> and I like that everybody gets together. Mm. And then I like that it's, it's, I like that it's always on a Thursday. So then you've got Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Okay. And like Christmas, it sort of falls whenever. So like sometimes oh, you have to go to, I mean, I'm in retail, so <laughs> I got to go to work the day after Christmas. That works. Um, I've learned to skate out of the Black Friday situation since we are more of a niche, tiny business. So I can get by with that. But the day after Christmas, I got to go to work. So like this year, it's on Sunday and I'm like, oh. Oh, it is. Yeah. yeah. And then you can take Monday off. Huh? No, I can't. Close the store no, I Monday. can't. Okay, never mind. Got to go to work. <laughs> but then, you know, and the food and the pie. 
So the holiday, or well, not so much a tradition, but something happened on April 1st with my husband and I. So it was April Fool's Day? April Fool's Day. And the Lord did he do to you on April <laughs> I know. Fool's Day. So we almost called this our faux anniversary, and it was right before we got married. So we weren't married, but I was moving from California to Oklahoma because we had jobs in at Oklahoma Embroidery. So they had to get me anyway. Halfway through the trip, we realized we were in Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh, I've heard this story. In the high desert. But I did not know it was on April the 1st. That's when, yes. I did not know that. So what is this here? March 31st, mm -hmm. we had to pull off the road, high winds, and we grabbed a hotel room. And when we woke up in, on April 1st, I looked up the window and I said, oh, it, it, I think it snowed a foot. And Steve said... Ha ha, funny, funny, April Fools. And I'm like, no, I think, it, come to find out it snowed 13 inches. So I was wrong and <laughs> he was wrong. And he's like, so being a South Dakota boy, he's like, I got this. So we got in the U-Haul, went to it's pull just out. A, it's just 13 inches. It's just, they'll have the roads cleared, which if you're in the high deserts, this is not a thing. And it's like being in Kentucky. we pulled out. And we tried to get on the roads, and we're like, Ooh, we shouldn't do this. So we pulled back in and asked for a hotel room back, and they're like, yep, here. We knew you'd be back. We <laughs> wondered what you were doing. Three days later, we finally got out of Flagstaff <laughs> and rolled into our new jobs in a new state all together. Right, yeah. And we knew after that that we'd be okay surviving. It sounds like a very steep thing, though. Marriage. I've got this. I got this. I can do oh, it. Yeah, no winter coat, no gloves, <laughs> no nothing. Because he's from South Dakota. He's from South Dakota. We got this. <laughs> Apparently, we already needed refills. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I'm supposed to tell everybody. Okay. Ooh, the favorite item you've bought this year. We bought a sailboat. <laughs> I don't buy myself that much. What if I bought? So being in South Dakota, it's a little windy up here. So this year we decided to embrace the wind and uh, buy a sailboat. He embraced the wind before that, didn't he? Well, he did, but yeah, it was, it's just, it's fun. We have a place that we can go and sail. So he's, everybody's happy. Did you have anything? I haven't really bought anything. That's okay. Yeah, no. All right. <laughs> Next question. Oh, this is actually a joke. <laughs> What's the first rule of tailoring club? I, I don't know. Oh, britches get stitches. <laughs> God. Okay then, moving on. What fictional family would you like to be a member of? <gasps> I didn't think this one through. Uh, you know what comes to mind is like the Hotel Transylvania or Adam's Family. <laughs> I don't know why. I, we're not really, I'm not like goth or dark or anything, but they just seem fun. They just seem Well, maybe it's because there's stitches on, you know, they're Franken. Franken. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd fit in. <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe... I don't know. Shit's Creek. <laughs> no, I don't have the stamina for that. Um, oh, you remember that show, Parenthood? Yes, I like that family. You could you, you could join in. I could join in with that family. No Annoying problem. siblings, but yet they're close. <laughs> I would be fine with that. Hmm. Your turn. All right. What is your cell phone wallpaper? My children. Yes. Ooh, mine's a picture of Aruba when we were together in Aruba Ooh. on a... I just changed it, my lock screen from a sunset oh, in yes. Florida to back to my children. I love <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I don't even have my child. On They're my, on my lock screen and on my wallpaper. Good for you. Yes. All right. They're cute. They're cute. Yes. They're you cute. have fun. How old are your girls now? Nine and seven. What are they into? Um... <laughs> Well, this week they've been going to the American Ninja Warrior Camp, and well, that's good. I'm all about that. They have had fun. Yeah. I keep yeah. hearing and when you call, and you've got a teenager. I do. Uh, yes, she just turned thirteen, and she is actually at so kind of a, a day camp, but she's part of the ranch camp. So there's horses and, and she animals, loves it. and they are in charge of all the four-legged and winged 
um, campers. And she said this morning, I got dirt all over my sweatshirt. I held a chicken. I said, it may not be dirt. And she goes, eh, eh, it oh, might not be dirt. Yes. I was like, and we actually, this is the night she gets to do the sleepover, which is like only the certain kids that are certain the big, ages. The big this kids. Is, this is the big night. So we, I, I'm like, oh yeah, don't have to pick her up today. Pick Your up. father already was going to pick her up tomorrow. Pick her up. Yeah. We have to remember pick up to. By the way, you and I have to pick her up tomorrow. Okay, okay good to know. Good to know. <laughs> uh, most difficult thing you've ever sewn. Well, this is kind of one of in that same category of weird things. Um, oh well, uh, I embroidered on toilet paper. Mm, yes, we have it's a all, video. It's all mm. about the stabilizer. It is wash away. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know because I did a lesson in the new Machine Embroidery 101 online course uh, oh. because we had a whole stabilizer thing and I had, yeah, no, toilet paper. No. People love to embroider on toilet Mom paper. Mom used to embroider on faux boxwood. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. The, like balsa the wood? Yeah, balsa wood. That's there it. Not boxwood. <laughs> balsa wood. That's it. Yeah, it, and actually, it's, balsa wood is very easy yeah. to embroider on, and of course, with the right stabilizer yeah. on that. What's, what's your go to oh. stabilizer on toilet paper? Oh, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> wash away. I don't think I eat. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Away. Don't use wash away. No. <laughs> no, I use just um, I think cut I just away. use tear away. I think I use tear away. Yes. Um, but then another one that, now this was, Fof used to have an accessory bag. The gray one with the red trim. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that one? I don't know if you were dealing. Mm. You weren't dealing. I'm really just saying. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. You weren't <laughs> dealing then. But it zipped like three sides and then accordion to open and it had all these all the little flaps. Pockets. But the outside and the inside were canvas front and back and then it had like almost like a cardboardy inside to okay. it. And we were getting ready to go to convention and I was going to take it with my stuff in it. But I was like, well. Everybody has the gray with the red, so I was going to embroider my initials on it, <laughs> and it was, like, heavy, and I was like, and you couldn't really hoop, like, it was hard to hoop, okay, because you had to, like, wedge it under there, and it was, I mean, it was like a thick cardboardy insert, and I just did it real slow, and every time the needle <laughs> goes, pop, 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 pop. Did that you was, get it? Yeah, no, it did it. Let's hear The hardest thing I ever sewed, and, okay, so it was one of those cover, okay, when you're repairing a car, uh, they'll put oh, like the little thing. cover yeah. over it so you don't like scratch up the paint job if you when you lean in if you had like a button or something. And we had to actually do something on that. I had to make a buttonhole that was like this long. Yes. In it. I think I remember it's telling on, you. It's in our other video. Yes. That was the hardest thing. That was thing the I weird ever, thing. That one there. really comes to mind when people ask me that question. Oh wait, it's your turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my! Oh, why could uh, joke? You get all the jokes. <laughs> why can't? Why couldn't Santa convince the quilter to come to visit? He didn't have enough backing. <laughs> to Sorry. another one. That one was awful. There was not a lot of sewing jokes, jokes. out there. <laughs> all right. Least favorite part of sewing and most favorite part of sewing. Cutting. Pressing. I hate, I hate cutting things I hate out. Pressing. Like. Oh, I don't mind pressing because no. I use the press. Yeah, but like pressing, like when you have to go like in between steps, like it's such, oh. you have to do it, well, but see? it's such a time I don't. suck. So my sister likes to cut mm. and I like to piece. My sister doesn't really like to sew. Okay. She likes to embroider. Okay. Like she's an embroidering So she'll wizard. embroider. Right. But so sewing wise, we will make samples. She will cut mm -hmm. and then she will give me the things. And I will sew them together. Okay. And it's, uh, yeah. Do you have the favorite part of sewing? Ah, uh, quilting. I quilting. like to quilt. Like what part of the quilting? The, like the quilting, the actual the sandwich. quilting, long arm quilting. Ooh, your yeah. long arm. Yeah. Uh, most favorite part of, be of sewing? Being done. <laughs> I, like, Ooh, I'm I like done. to bind, too. Oh, yeah. It's nice. But yeah. I like to finish. But I don't always like. I will bind the mm -hmm. like. I don't get to sew. I don't get to sew anymore. We don't get to sew. It's not a thing I get to do. Um, but I will bind like Thomas when he makes samples. Mm -hmm. He gets really mad and is done by the time he gets oh, to the binding set. It, he, right. he doesn't and he's irritated no. and he doesn't want to bind it. And I'm like, well, give it to me. I will bind it because like. Yeah. I can Because he's that. already on to the next Right, project. he's ready to go to the next thing, and yeah. I'm like, give it to me. And I, I'll be like, ah. Do you use a, have you mastered the FAF binding 
tool? No, because I had already mastered how to bind on my machine prior to it coming out. The Fop Quilt Binder is pretty yes. awesome. Yes. We do have a video if yes. you don't know like how to turn corners or something. Yes. But you just have to take the time and practice, which I had well, to see, when I did that video. That's, well, and that's the thing about binding on yeah. the machine. I used to be so horrid at it. Uh, awful, 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 yeah. awful, awful. I mean, forever was terrible at binding. And then one day, one of my ladies that works for me who's 80 now, I don't know why, but she showed me something and it just clicked and it made sense all of a sudden. And ever since then, I've been able, Good. like I can bind on the machine almost to the point where it looks like I've done it with the binding attachment. Good for you. I can get the top and the bottom. Uh, that is an art. And it's so just you have, yes. practice. Practice. I mean, I've been quilting since I was 16, so. It's gonna take. And that's yeah. almost 30 years. Yes. That's a lot of practice. Yes. Yeah, I so. should be good at it by now. <laughs> not good at a lot of things, but I'm good at binding. What's the most embarrassing fashion trend you used to rock? <laughs> <laughs> I never have been very good at fashion trends per se. However, I did have the the bangs in the 80s. Oh, with the <laughs> with the Aquanet. Well, yeah. You, you had to where, have the spray. Where you'd like curl half of them up and curl half of them down. <laughs> oh. I'll have to find a picture. Oh my gosh. And then oh, there's like an eighth grade picture with the bangs and the shoulder pad blazer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like picturing you. I bet you could. In the shoulder pads, shoulder pads. Oh, oh yeah, that went with the bangs. Yeah. I was not, They went together. So I, I was, was not cool as I, I, I didn't have that opportunity. Mm. I don't think like Cali I did they do that? What they really oh, did that in yeah, California? The Aqua that and the but I didn't have a curling iron. Mm. Did you need a curling mm -hmm. iron to do I couldn't yeah. I could. And I don't remember even how you like split them top and bottom, but you like curled half of them <laughs> no. up and curled half of them down. And then you. Do you think that that trend's going to come back? God, I hope not. <laughs> I feel be. bad for all the children that think that that's a good look. Um, I tried to rock the pegged pants. Oh, I love the pegged pants. I, I didn't do it well, but I did it as best I could. Oh, the only thing was, I is when I pegged pants. my pants, I didn't really have the cool pants that it would stay pegged. Oh, like I the really tight, you need the tight jeans. Yeah, the jeans. Yeah. But uh, I didn't always I have the it. jeans that I would, would peg I was, really well, but I, I tried. I was the big on the peg pants with the yeah. loafers, and then you didn't tie the leather laces, and you did the little. You had the cute little loafers. I don't know that they were cute. Well, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> if we, you couldn't have them, yes, they were probably cute, but they <laughs> Eastland, Eastland, East something. But yeah, the whole pegging of the pants was my attempt. Well, see, at we fashion. were in the '80s, so I mean, we were. Yeah. <sighs> Let's hope that doesn't come back either. Yeah, well. Uh. <laughs> Your most used emoji. <laughs> Mine's the laughy, cry face. I use it for. It's like my number one emoji. Well, I was wondering. Oh yeah, it's always the laugh. It's that always was not the one, one I thought you would. It's would've... always the number one in the number one slot. That was not the one I thought you'd say. What did you think it would be? The one with. Oh, the... <laughs> I did. That one's up there. That one's up there in my top twelve. You know, it keeps your like most yes. used. Yes. Yeah, the laughy cry face, the last sideways laughy cry face, the shoulder shrug. Oh, like what are they thinking? <laughs> and the head and then, snack. I, I get that one. When, when uh, Liz and I get emails of. Sometimes customers reach out to us and their questions are a little like, oh my goodness. But <laughs> I send I, I yeah. send that one out. But no, you the laughing cry face is the one I use the most because something will happen. Well, I'm very bad about like if something bad happens, <laughs> then I tend to go to the laughy cry stage and I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Oh, we're just gonna go with it. LOL. Right. right. Mine is so I love lime green, so I totally like to lime the lime green heart. Oh, yes, she does. So if you get a lime green heart on things, that's like better than a red heart. It's <laughs> yes. And then the other one, I totally, oh, uh, I know what it is. It's the one with the cocktail glass. Yes, those yes. are the ones she said the most. I'm <laughs> and, here to confirm. And if you get three cocktail class, that was something. Oh, by the way, when it comes to emojis on a phone, my daughter taught me that if you do only three emojis, yeah. they come up super sized right. on the phone. Yes. If you put in the, the fourth, fourth one, that's when it makes it small. It goes small. And so she and I have a combination of emojis that she can send me as a mom get me out of this situation. Like, ah. like my 
like my so friend, she's yeah. in with a friend, like, ah. I need to call her and tell her it's time to come home. Right. Or I need a signal. Yeah, so yeah, that's that's a bat signal. She has a bat signal with emojis. Yeah. Yes. What is it? Well, I can't tell you. Well, now I want to know. Well, it's, it, but if it comes up, um, oh, it does it? include something black. Ah. So that would be a trigger, like she doesn't send black emojis. Ah. And so it's a combination of three, so it's going to come up big on my phone, ah. of three Get me out of black here, Mom. things. Well, and that's then she knows funny. I can call and in, interject, interfere, require her to come home. Be the um, mean parent. Be the mean parent. And she goes, ugh, my, my mom, mom is right. And then she can totally home. throw me under the bus. Right. And then my get me My mom out. is so uncool. Right. I need to go. My mom called and said <sighs> it was time I had to go. Or my mom had something <laughs> right. I need me to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she probably is better than that. I would have been like, oh. And she is not allowed to use the poop emoji. Oh, yeah, that one no, makes we, me crazy. Yeah, she sent that to me once, and I'm like, that needs to go away. <laughs> and you need to not use that with your friends. So she is not allowed. That's the only emoji she's not allowed to use. <laughs> and, of course, she's a teenager, so who knows what the, of course, all the other emojis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <they're true. laughs> I promise there's not a ton of jokes. This is it. God willing. <laughs> what did the quilter blame for having too many children? <laughs> Reproduction fabric. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. You get Do those. you know there is a tomb of the unknown sower? No. There is a tomb I, of the where? unknown. Where? We have them right outside. They're on our sidewalk. And there is a tombstone, and it says sower on it. What? What? I'm going to pop it up on the screen here. You're going to have to. <laughs> I don't know. We're either going to have to walk out there and see it, but not right this second. And yes, what? I have a customer that showed me where the tomb of the unknown sower is. It's a sewer. <laughs> right. Not a sewist, a sewer. But what she does now... <laughs> <laughs> But what she does now is when she travels, <laughs> she takes pictures of, of all, all the, the tombs of the unknown sewers, the <laughs> sewers on, on it. She's got a whole Instagram page to get dedicated. Well, some of them to, are pretty cool. Well, yes, yeah, sewer and covers can be very neat, especially like in Europe. They're very cool. Exactly. Yeah. So I know she's traveled. We have miniature ones outside our property right now. And she's like, you have the cutest little ones. I've only seen the big ones. And <laughs> apparently they put in the little ones oh for her. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So now when you're walking down the street, you can send me pictures. Top three favorite presser feet for your Foff machine. Ooh. Because I was, uh, we were kind of talking foot. about this. Quarter inch foot, narrow edge foot, open toe applique foot. Those are my top three. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So if you don't already know and you are a Foff user, there is the this Foff This is a, foot an book. amazing book. So two things. You can find this at your local Foff store. We have an option for you to buy it digitally. Uh, I'm sure there's a the, link somewhere. Yeah, we'll put a link somewhere in there. Um, and then if you, right now, they are republishing it with all the new right. feet that just came out. So if you do buy this right now as a digital copy, you are going to get the next version right. included. So um, the new version will go up as a PDF. But here is something it, cool. I was going to say, this is all my people that, that buy the yep. book. They like to buy the book, and then they like to go in and circle the feet that they have. Yes. So because better. then they yes. know which ones they've already got. So we got permission from the author of the foot book that if you do go and check it out, this page with the feet, mm -hmm. which is, by the way, all um, it continues the on the back. These two pages that you're kind of seeing right there are free downloads. Oh, so you can download them. You can download circle. just the, which is sometimes nice because people don't want to carry their book, book with them, yeah. but they might carry just a print off of but those feet. But it's got feet. all the step, I mean, like they're, okay, now wait, wait. <laughs> if you go to the FOF webpage, there is an accessory catalog. And that's nice. This is different. Yes. Because that's what a lot of people say, well, there's an accessory catalog only, but it's not the same. The accessory catalog sort of shows you a picture, right. shows you which feats it use, gives you the basic instructions. This is giving you pictures and settings and do it at this stitch link, try it at this stitch. This is what's going to happen. So it gives you really detailed step-by-step mm -hmm. instructions on how to use all the presser feet. And a lot of times they'll give you more than one use of the presser yes. foot. So even in, in the accessory guide, it'll just say, 
Right. Um, it's just uh, like the gathering foot. It's just it's like, like Meh, you can gather go. with it. Yeah. Well, when here, it'll give you like other uses of those feet. And so this is one thing when we talk about our Fox Stitching Cosmos online course and you want to learn more about feet or you've bought feet and have it. <laughs> and you don't use, use them. them. Yeah. And you're like, gosh, why did I buy these feet? This will help you yes. and this course will help you. Yes. So if you are interested in learning more about feet, um, you can email us or yes. hook up and, and just watch some of the free videos that we have. So yes, yeah, quarter inch course. foot, quarter inch foot, narrow edge foot, yes, open toe applique foot or sewing stars foot, which is very simple. Oh, yes. Okay. Was it one or three? Three. It was three? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go circular sewing attachment because yes, I that, do <laughs> do some circles. Oh, I'm looking over here and like double checking. All the time. Ooh, what else do I use a lot that I wouldn't want to give use up? Use the wings. Oh, well, but now with the Fafa Kentu that has a built-in grid no. projection system, might not use I haven't used much. that since. That. It's um, not called a wing foot, it's is, called a multi-line decorative stitch the, foot. The fop does have a couching foot that has mm -hmm. nine holes. Mm -hmm. Now granted, it takes a little time to, to thread all nine holes, but I've made some really it's cool got a three things. Yard, three, three hole, hole yarn foot too. But then it goes, jumps up to nine. Yeah. And I love to, it. Used to, in the olden days, we had a five too. They, they don't have the five. Yeah, they yeah. Got rid of But that the one. nine, you can actually, it's thinner oh. cord, and then you can and do like every braiding, other one. And there's the braiding and cording foot that has the one with the like big, it. thick braiding. I do like a free motion couching foot as well. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop at that because I could keep listening. I was going to say, feeling, yeah. That's why I said yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, there's more. All right. Last, and last one. Ooh, last one. But we can come up with some more. <laughs> Um, oh, ooh, sewing room pictures. I saw that one. I'm not sharing those. Oh, you don't want to share your oh, sewing room pictures? It's horrendous. Uh, what makes I will share it, but it's horrendous. <laughs> because um, I don't get to sew that much. It is, it is hard for us as we... I mean, I mean, it's hard for everybody. I've seen a lot of people's sewing rooms, and that's going to be my answer. It's hard for everyone. <laughs> yes, but if you do kind of have a little niche that you want to share on our Facebook group or something. It does inspire us um, well, as our, our profession. So here's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> I start a lot of things. No. Yeah. We have a shirt at the store that says, I am a I consider myself a beginning quilter. I begin a lot, but I can't seem to finish anything. And so what I do or what I have learned to do is take the projects when I get a little bottlenecked, I take the projects and put all the stuff that's for that project mm -hmm. together, and I pile them in my room in like an order. Okay. And then I walk in my sewing room and they're all over the floor. So I'm like, all right, boom, boom, because it drives me nuts when the floor is covered. So then it makes me. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, except for then if you walk in, like the cleaning ladies come and I'm like, don't go in that room. Don't, don't mess up your That order. room is fine. I'll take care of that room. I'm sure they're, I'm you sure just the clean housekeepers the kitchen. are used to that. Yeah, just clean the kitchen and the bathroom. I'll take care of the sewing room. Yes. So, and I have to confess, I really don't have I a... I was going to say, do you even have... You're sleeping in your my sewing well, room. Like, and you have a building. I do have a, So we built during COVID a event center. So that's where her sewing room now is. We, I do. So I can move in any machine. Now, granted, I usually have to film something on it. We did take over about half of the event center with this course. <laughs> I know. I almost took a picture. Because there's, like there's like tables for like how many sewing stations? We have machines. We have all of our prep for it, each of the lessons. Stuff all over the floor. And I've mean, noticed we have crept further and further towards the front. And I know Steve's like, oh, my gosh. If we had g given you like a 10,000 square foot we would event center, we would have used half of that, too. Yeah. This one's only 4,000 square feet. But I do have to say, I do love, now when we're done with this course, I'm gonna, everything gets kind of cleaned up and put away and there is nothing left out. And well, yes. I do my best creative, I do have to clean everything off. I do too. Like I couldn't do, like we created all new stitches for the FAF boot camp using the Stitch Creator. Mm -hmm. And I remember that day is I had to, I had to cl not clean, but clear, not clear. Clear, and it's not like it was hard. I just needed to make sure nothing was distracting me. Oh yeah. So I could just focus, and like, and that's true. Like when I did have a sewing at home, like I couldn't sew if there was dishes. Well, and this is so. If you have, if you don't have a sewing room at home, mm -hmm. you need to try to find a space mm -hmm. because it does yeah. make you do more. Because yeah. Lord, I would never do. I don't do very much now, and I have to. 
yeah, but get uh, stuff out. When your profession, your your hobby right. turns that's into your profession, that's different. Yeah, we we definitely are. I mean, we're not making excuses, but we're. No. We get to do other fun stuff and right. we get to do it for you. I do live through my customers' projects. Uh, yeah. So when we do fill the event center and we have a big event, yeah. I am like in heaven yeah. because I don't have to do it, but I can watch you do it. Yeah. <laughs> totally. It's fun. Well, and it's fun to see them learn how to do stuff. And yes. you're like, oh, oh, it's working. The light then, bulb moments, when you see the light bulb yeah. on the top of their head, yes. I can see it. I don't yeah. know about you. Yes. Can you see the yes. light bulbs? Yes. We see your light bulbs, and yes. even when you are online and you send us an email or drop us a little Let's note, send pictures of things that you've made with the projects that we taught. Then, we we're, then it's like, it. oh, good, somebody bought the class and actually paid attention and used and it. did it, right? Like, yeah, yeah, like. It's mm -hmm. just like when somebody buys a sewing machine and then they come in a year later and they're like, well, it's still in yeah. the box. You're like, okay, oh, so let me give it out. But yes, we do live through your yeah. enjoyment. So if you do and can send us pictures, we love it. We yeah. do get emails from well, all this, over the world. This is not something that, pe this is this is a fun thing. You guys did this for fun. Yeah. So it's fun when you actually are having fun with it and enjoying it. Yes. And so if you do want to make our day, that'll do it. Let, let us know um, something that was just an aha moment for you, the light bulb or something. Um, if you are on Facebook, we do have the Facebook groups, but yep. if you're not, that's okay. It's not like you're missing anything. Right. Just send us an email. You can reach out to us at any time. We are here for you and can answer questions but we'd love to celebrate in what you are learning. Yes. Yeah. So. so we do look forward. We do have a few more ideas for our future online courses. So Liz, you are coming back to South Dakota. Uh, we're going to just leave it at that. <laughs> in the winter. In the winter. She's like, I get to try my winter here. I get to here. try my winter clothes out in a real winter place. Oh, it is. Well, but South Dakota, as we say. I figure I'm going to come rolling in and Steve's going to be in like a t-shirt picking me up at the uh, airport. He'll be like long, long sleeve. sleeve. He'll have his like, like flannel shirt on. Furry hooded coat and my oh. boots. And he'll be like, what's wrong with you? It's no, fine. No, you'll go from the airport to the car yeah. and the car into the garage. Yes. And the garage, you won't even like, ha you have to make yourself go outside. So in South Dakota, as we, we say, we're the tropical Dakotas. <laughs> it doesn't get as cold here. Well, it does. But then you go to North Dakota and it is cold. Because there, it is cold. I feel Thank like it's probably cold in South Dakota. Eh, you get used it, to it. it. I'm not going to get used to it. <laughs> I'm not going to be here long enough to get used to it. No, you're going to be, we're going to drop you off at the door. Yes. You come inside. Yes. For the three minutes that you're outside, you are not going to, yes. your temperature is not going to And watch, it's going to be some weird, warmer than normal it could. winter. And I'm going to be like, this is terrible. <laughs> South Dakota does change the, the weather. Like, just wait a day. Because when you came, That's what it they was, say in Kentucky, too. Yeah, though. yeah. I think this, right, lately, yeah. this is going to be a thing. So thank yeah. you so much for coming. I know. Coming. Thank you for having me. Yes. I have so much fun when I come. Uh, my so sister. Mr. Liz is definitely. It's we're better than some, you standing in this room by yourself. Well, it's, it is kind of fun to have somebody to talk to, and it's. You're right. You do watch a lot of my videos. I do. I'm like somebody Aww. asked, why would she ever want somebody to come and help her? And I'm like, cause she stands in this room by herself and talks to this camera like alone. No. You gotta have somebody else to talk to this occasionally. This such a treat this week. I know, so it's thank you. Yeah, it's yes, fun. so we do look forward to revisiting you again yes. and just kind of keep keep in touch and we will let you know what our next plan now is. now we have to edit. Oh yes, well for our next online course. Oh, oh the yes. editing but is fun. now we fun. have to edit. I get to watch all of our <laughs> shenanigans <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll put together It'll the blooper reel. There's going to be bloopers. I'm sure yes, there is. There's going to be I will fun. be the highlight as per usual. That's <laughs> so wonderful. All right, everybody. Thanks so Bye, much. Everybody. We love you. And thank you so much for being part of our online courses.